Take a knee. We believe that C cuts, most efficient way to skate, all right? And I think the new generation of goalies are starting to do more and more C cuts because they're starting to realize that. C cut out, player makes a pass, we follow him, we get set, we stay in our net, we let them set up. When they come and challenge us, we come out, maybe we T push, and then we come out more, right? Player goes to the post, we come out, T. Like, that's where you want to be able to skate because you're always connected to the ice. Whenever you guys do any kind of workouts, you might hear your trainer say, squeeze your butt. Suck in your core, create that core engagement to engage the entire leg. Now I want Inua to come forward, make it nice and tight, push and pull. Pull it in, pull it in. Good, decent. Nice, there we go. Bring it back, left leg. I want you guys to have your hands near your chest. And then, when the player goes to shoot, you just bring the chest with you. So, tight hands, and then instead of doing this and reaching, I bring my body. Okay, go ahead, guys. Less body, less body, less body. Tight feet, tight feet, don't go too wide. Let's go again. It's squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze the butt, squeeze the butt. Breathe, make sure you breathe. So now we're going to try doing a C-cut with the pivots. So small turn. Set. 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 Set as we go, right? And that's slow motion. If you want to go faster, be my guest. Make sure we stop. Ah, there it is. Pull it, pull it, pull it. When you guys are stopping, you're actually not pushing outwards. You're not, not pushing out, that's what you're doing. You're doing this. You're pushing to the side. If you watch this leg, you're actually pushing forward and then pulling it back. So when you want to come across, it's push, forward. Push, forward. There we go. Nice, one more. He went from this to this, and he's set. That's enough with the C cuts. Let's go with the T pushes. When you guys T push, we don't T push and hold, and then stop, we push, we pull. Right? Push and pull, push and pull. You guys need to project your hands. You guys ever heard hand projection, hand projection? It's very simple. Get the hands to lead the way without sacrificing the chest. So if you're here, and you sacrifice the hands to get the chest there, you're gonna have a trouble. You wanna have the hands projected, stay in front. I can make the save in front of my face. Pass goes out, my hand is here, right? So shoulder group. Good. Good. Go, go. Squeeze. Come on, Gabriel, get those hands out. Pull it, Jack, come on. Nice, nice, excellent. The biggest thing we have a problem with is goalies make very, very large shuffles. They don't realize it. Show us very short, but calm shuffles. Switch. Very calm, very calm. Smaller, smaller. Hands out, hands out. Nice and short, nice and short. If I came to your games and I saw you sliding on almost every rebound, I'd say bad habits, you're not playing very well. If you slide only on the big rebounds, that's smart. So if you're sliding on big rebounds, there's no time for these slides that are 80%. They have to be 110, otherwise you may as well get up. So if you want more saves, on your feet. We spoke about the seat cuts, the most important, followed by evenly important, the T-push and shuffle. Now we're gonna work about pushes. The double push is very useful because it allows you guys to do one push, but you cut it in two without losing your edge and without getting really tired. Watch. One, two. One, two. Right, just like that. That's what we call using momentum. His first push is gaining momentum 
and the second push gets him across. If you don't have to stop, your push sucks. If you have to stop, your push rocks. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wow, unreal. Boys, that was good. Nice. That's it for our skating. The Zamboy is going to come on because clearly you guys did some good skating. Look at this ice, right? I think we're on the same page now. Edges the most important, right? So if you guys have good edges, everything else is okay. When we go to my goalie school, what do we do in terms of every shot? What do we do? We play the rebound. And you guys come to me because I think every time we play the rebound, we end up realizing, wow, this is way more unique and I have a better time doing that, right? So if you guys want to be good goalies, you have to play as if you were in a game. But this time your mindset is, what am I focusing on to improve versus just stop the puck? Does that make sense, guys? That's the difference, okay? So let's take a break. Let's go back in the room, take your gear off. We'll come back in about 15 minutes. I want you guys focusing on the skating subconsciously, so in back in your brain, and then consciously think about what we're going to focus on moving forward, all right? Hands in. There we go. One, two, three. All, All saves. saves. All right.